A high-stakes dogfight between India's French-made Rafale and Pakistan's Chinese Chengdu J-10C on May 7 has sent shockwaves through the military world. Both sides are claiming victory, but what really happened? And which jet proved superior in combat? Let's break it down, according to recent reports. Pakistan's Chinese-made J-10C may have scored a historic kill against India's French-made Rafale, a jet long considered one of the best in the world. But how? And does this mean China's fighter technology has surpassed France's? Here's what we know so far. Pakistani military sources claim their J-10C, equipped with advanced electronic warfare systems, successfully jammed the Rafale's radar before engaging. Pakistani jets successfully shot five Indian jets on May 7, when India attacked on multiple locations in Pakistan. Some reports even suggest the Chinese PL-15 missile, a long-range air-to-air weapon, was used to bring down the French-made Indian jets. According CNN, French intelligence official confirms downing of Rafale by Pakistan. If true, this would be the first combat loss of a Rafale, ever. But Indian officials deny the claim, insisting their jets remain unmatched. So, who's right? Let's compare these two fighters head to head. All right, let's dive into the highlights of the Rafale, which is made by France. First up, we have its speed clocking in at Mach 1.8. It has an impressive range of 3,700 kilometers when equipped with drop tanks. When it comes to weaponry, the Rafale is armed with the Meteor Beaver Am and Scalp cruise missiles. Its avionics include the advanced RBE-2AA ESA radar and the Spectra Electronic Warfare Suite. And in terms of stealth, the Rafale features a semi-stealth design with a reduced radar cross-section. Now let's take a look at the J-10C made by China. This aircraft boasts a speed of Mach 2.2 and has a range of 2,500 kilometers. As for its arsenal, the J-10C is equipped with the PL-15 long-range missile and the PL-10 short-range missile. The avionics package includes an AESO radar and advanced jamming systems. In terms of stealth, the J-10C has limited stealth coatings, which, well, offer some degree of radar evasion. On paper, the Rafale has better avionics and more combat experience, but, you know, the J-10C's PL-15 missile outranges most Western weapons. Plus, its electronic warfare capabilities may have given it the edge in this clash. It's a close call, really, when you weigh all these factors. Military analysts are divided. Some say the Rafale's loss, if confirmed, was due to pilot error or bad tactics, not the jet's weakness. Others argue China's rapid advancements in radar and missile tech are closing the gap with Western fighters. One thing's for sure, this incident will force India, and the world, to rethink air combat strategies. Will the Rafale bounce back, or is the J-10C the new king of the skies? What do you think? Was this a fluke or a sign of shifting power in military aviation? Drop your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe for more deep dives into the world's most intense military showdowns. So Rafael versus J-10C, who won?